Hi guys, my name is Leslie Jemison and I'm the Global Colour Ambassador for Schwarzkopf Professional. I'd like to welcome you to this Hints and Tricks and Hacks and Tips, everything you need to know for the Agora Royal Mixes. The best way to know how to mix colours together for your clients is to first of all understand how colours work together and sometimes how colours do not work together. We have a brown filter, just a clean, soft brown. I want to make it a little bit warmer, so I'm going to add a very soft gold. Now in hairdressing terms, that's going to be a dash five. Do I like that? Yes. But now I want to make it a little bit warmer. That's lovely, but let's make it warmer. So now I'm going to put a gold copper, which in hairdressing terms means a dash five seven. And you can see very clearly the difference that you get. So guys, you've just seen that with the colour filters. I'm going to show you again something more visual with paint. So here we have a brown. Now that's gorgeous, but how would I make that a little bit lighter, more tan brown. I add some yellow. Now, of course, yellow in hairdressing terms is gold, so that's dash five. And really what I want to show from this is that you don't need to go straight in and add sort of coppers or reds to change your brown. Just a soft, subtle tone of the yellow or the gold will show it up beautifully. Now, I just want to show you here I've added a little bit of pink and a little bit of beige to white. And what that's going to give you is something like a, a dash 48, because I've added lots of beigey tones with a little bit of red into my brown. I hope you enjoy that. Now we come on to the mood board for Novel Comfort, and it really showcases those beautiful soft velvety tones, those kind of cozy, comforting browns. But I really wanted to show you how easy it is to now, once you've started training your eye to see colour, how easy it is to pick up one piece of furniture. So, for example, we have here a 955, a 957. It's not about worrying if I'm going to get exactly the right colour, but it's about training the idea that you can see a lightness and a darkness and you can see a tone. Once you've got that, it's really, really easy to make every single colour bespoke for your client. So this is an artist's or painter's colour wheel from my office. Um, and I have it there just as a kind of, while it's beautifully and colourful, but it's a really good example of exactly what you're going to get when you mix different colours together. So if I add yellow to yellow green, get this beautiful kind of acid green. If I add yellow to green, I'm going to get a yellow green. But not everybody's going to have a giant colour wheel. But you don't need an artist's colour wheel because we have in the brand new portfolio the most beautifully presented colour wheel. It's exactly the same as this. So we see yellow. Here we see yellow. Yellow is gold in the hairdressing world and it's a dash five. Now if I, for example, I have a gold and I want to make it a bit punchier. Then what I'm going to do is add something that's just next door to it. Now the same is true if you want to neutralize something. So let's say for example we have red. What we need to do, we need to think of its opposite color, its complementary color. Now the complementary color to red, opposite. So use this color wall. Opposite red is green. Now green, if I add green to red, it's going to neutralize it 100%. Now I don't want that. So I need to think about what else do I have in this cold world? I only want to neutralize a little bit, so I'm going to go for a violet tone. So use the color wheel. Do you know what we do? We have the color wheel laminated and we have it in the staff room so all the assistants can see it and again, kind of train the eye to recognize colors, depths and tones. Use this colour wheel every single day, know it inside out, and every single day will be fun.